Hello everybody, my name is Tania Poveda and today I want to show you this beautiful video I made just for you to explain how we celebrate New Year's Eve here in Ecuador, especially in Guayaquil. I hope you enjoy it and have fun as much as I did while doing this video. Thank you very much. See you there. Comienza en la calle 6 de marzo y algunas de sus intersecciones. Aquí en 6 de marzo y Francisco de Marcos es una de las muestras de estos negocios y tradiciones guayaquileñas y ahora ecuatorianas. Okay, hello everybody, my name is Tania. Welcome one more time here in this channel. And right now I'm with a friend. He is one of the artists that works here in Space and Marshall Street in Guayaquil. So what is your name? Hi, my name is Eddie Garcia. Eddie. Yes. Okay, so Eddie, uh, thank God, he's going to talk to us in English so I don't have to work extra and he's going to answer my questions in English. Thank you very much, Eddie. No problem. Okay, so I have few questions for you. The first question is, how long does it take to make something like this? Uh, maybe the stand, uh, it took uh, into one month. One month, yes. Uh, with the sonography, the... The monument, uh, the stairs, uh, the background. Okay, oh. so it's one month working on that. Do, yes. you, do you have other work or this is like your work? No, no, my work is a uh, gigantografia. Oh, you, you work here? Yes. Can, can you focus on gigantografia? So it's a good publicity yes. for <laughs> gigantografia. All yes, right. also to uh, have a compliment, I, uh, the background is for the gigantografia uh, and I make a compliment Okay, that's beautiful. And what is interesting about this is that it's a hobby, it's a tradition, but also they charge you only one dollar for the picture you can have here with a lot of characters from all around the world. So we have we have characters from Hollywood, we have artists, we have animals, we have from movies, from theater, or which is my favorite one, is the national characters. So we have like presidents, we have mayors, we have uh, like Barcelona, MLA, Spiderman, all of that. Like that. Okay, I have another question for you. Uh, you mentioned something about the background, about the gigantography. Alright, which is like printing on like plastic. It's or a canvas, yes, like a canvas. Alright, so it's like a printing something. But what about the other materials you use for the monument, for example? What do you do? That's all. And also, maybe I regret I recycle the materials of the canvas. When I, I the material get out of stock, I use the uh, the box and I make the stairs and I recycle it. And also I have the, the sticker, the vinyl. I use it to make the to paste the. Later we're going to take some pictures of these details, but what he's 
Okay, what is amazing is that they are recycling products. Yes. So you don't invest too much money on this. Oh, that's great. That's great because this is a business, it's a hobby too, and it's really beautiful. Uh, well, I invite everybody to come to Guayaquil, to St. the Martha Street. All the months, December is a crazy month, it's beautiful to walk here. You can find a lot of famous persons, you can be a famous one. If you point there, you can sit down there in that chair and be a Hollywood artist. You can be an actress, you can be an actor, a director, no matter what you want to be. Today is your day to make your dreams true. <laughs> Alright, I don't know if you want to say something else. Uh, come on to visit us, uh, this is interesting, uh, Marzo and Francisco Marco. Uh, we are the pioneers that start this, uh, these scenarios, like the pictures, we were the first one. Oh, as you can see, there are a lot more there, but we were the first one. Uh, years before, we start with the hottest uh, this is time, Hollywood. Oh, and then okay. we were growing up in like more stands, as you can see. Oh, that's so great. Uh, what, I, I was thinking about another question. Did you do this by yourself or you had some help? Uh, yes, some help. Uh, I were father. Ah, oh, you're the father. Nice to meet you. <laughs> All right, so this is also family business, which is also very common in this kind of towns in Ecuador. Lots of people start business. They are entrepreneurs with their families. It's, so it's something you can share. You can walk here with your kids, with your parents, with your grandparents. It's safe, it's beautiful. And sharing this nice weather today is not too hot, so, so it's a good, good opportunity. All right, so um, thank you very much, Mary. I'm very happy I met you. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And we will, we will see you soon. Bye. Bye-bye. This is the section I would like to explain a little bit how important these kind of businesses are for the whole country, not only for the families or not only for Guayaquil. Here we can see some people working on their money gods. We call them año viejos in Spanish. It's like putting together these two words, año and viejo. So it's the way we call them actually because they represent everything we live in here in the country during the whole year. So they're made in paper, they are made with glue and then painted. How important it is? Well, basically the business is not only about the money gods. Here we can see some indirect businesses. For example, food, like here we have La Resbaladera, which is a drink made with some rice flour and sugar. It's really tasty, for example. Also, I don't know if you pay attention, there was a sign said that they rent a bathroom. Yes, they do. They rent you a bathroom. And also, we can see some people wearing different dresses, representing some famous actresses or actors or characters from movies or from the country. And they only charge you one dollar for one picture. Or maybe two pictures. Well, you, you can negotiate with them. You can do some businesses. Also in the streets we can find some of the fireworks that we are going to use in the night and you can also ask everything, you can bargain, you can negotiate with them and you can get very good deals, everybody wins, it's a win-win negotiation. So that's why it's very important for the microeconomy of Ecuador to support this kind of businesses. You come here and you, as this lady in the car, She's negotiating how much she wants to pay for one of the Año Viejos and they are telling them the price and finally they are going to agree how much they are going to get for them Año Viejo. So I hope that you really enjoyed what I did for you and you appreciate our culture. I don't know if a lot of people know about this, but I invite you to come to Ecuador, to come to Guayaquil and celebrate it with us. Ya se ha terminado, así que 
cacao, ya se lo So now it's time when they start they put some gasoline or gas and that's it let's wait for the boom 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 it's getting ready all those are a few of the muddy gods we saw this morning in says the Mars street okay that guy is throwing more gasoline I'm not going to approach for obvious reasons it's not only COVID, it's also fire. So that's how we born 2021. Forgetting and forgiving. And he keeps throwing more gasoline just in case it wasn't enough. To do other other shots showing the end of the street, they are burning water. In the end of this street, there it is. God, I'm in the wrong spot. I shouldn't be so close. Okay, I'm hiding behind a tree. Number three, they did it. I can't believe what our neighbors are doing better than us. It's the first time in our lives. Tania con el inmortal Mr. Bean.